All right, folks, we're back uh, with more Behavior Beast. <laughs> um, today, what is the Beastie's topic? Um, sorry, I'm watching weird shit float in the river. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of tennis balls and then a kid's like sucky like, thing. Weird. That's odd. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's a, watch the video on salience and understand why I just went whoop, over to that stuff. So today we're going to talk about today. In this video, we're going to talk about reinforcement and we are going to talk about punishment, right? These things are so misunderstood that I almost just don't want to talk about them, but I have to talk about them so you don't misunderstand them anymore. So let's get into it really simple. Number one, they're operant response. They're, they're, they're related to operant responding, right? So operant condition. These are the things that modify behavior. These are the consequences that we're getting at. We're only going to talk about two, well, really four things today. Um, there are, or in this video, there's some other stuff. We'll get into that later, the extinction. Shh, don't tell anybody I said that right now. Anyway, so let's focus on reinforcement. It's not reward. There's a reason it's not reward. That's because when you look at the definition of reinforcement, it has to change behavior. Reward doesn't necessarily have to change behavior. Some rewards might be reinforcers, but reinforcers by definition aren't rewards. Can I get the circulate, the, the weirdness there? Okay, it's kind of odd. But anyway, again, I digress. Um, so again, reinforcement is a process, uh, uh, sorry, the delivery of a stimulus or the removal of a stimulus that results in the probability of a behavior increasing in the future, all right? The, the, uh, the stimulus, either added or removed, needs to be contingent upon a response. In other words, the response has to happen first in order for the, in order for the uh, reinforcer to be delivered or removed, all right? So, folks, it, it's really simple. Behavior happens, reinforcer happens. There's a couple of different kinds of reinforcers, positive and negative, right? Reinforcers only affect future behavior. They don't affect things that happen in the past. Behavior has to happen first, and it will affect the behavior. That's what makes it a reinforcer. Okay, so let's get into positive reinforcement. Okay, now we're gonna talk about positive and negative, but I want you to get the idea of good and bad out of your head. Positive reinforcement isn't good. Negative reinforcement isn't bad. They're both reinforcement. The goods and bads go away. Nothing to do with it. Positive and negative. It's mathematical. Something was added or something was removed. That simple. There's nothing else to it. Sorry, my phone almost got removed. Um, so I was got a little worried there. Uh, no moral value, folks. Something is added or something is removed. It's that simple, all right? No moral value. Stop thinking goods and bads. And by the way, since we're on the darn topic of moral value, punishment can be positive <laughs> or negative. Why? Because you're adding punishers or removing them. Folks <laughs> are adding stimuli or removing them. Folks, come on, please stop thinking positive punishment, negative punishment, positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement have anything to do with good and bad. They don't. I keep going over this because everyone gets it confused. It has nothing to do with good and bad. Moral value is out. It's just added and removed and stimuli. Anyway, what is positive reinforcement? A stimulus is added, contingent upon a behavior, and the probability of the response increases in the future or maintains. Okay? It's that simple. It's contingent. You have to have the behavior first. Right? Then something is added. I give you something. Here, it's a phone. You've done so well, young man. You have done all of your homework this year. You learned to drive and you did all these things. I will reward you with a phone. I hope that reinforces the behavior. Notice how I use both of those terms, right? Um, you can use it like that and it's okay. But reward is not what we're really talking about. I just wanted to kind of make that connection for you. So, um, so we're going to deliver something to reinforce people. Honey, praise. Uh, all sorts of things, you can basically anything, right? Um, then we also want to think about um, removing something, right? So that's negative reinforcement. So negative reinforcement is the removal of a stimulus that results in the increasing probability or maintenance of a behavior in the future, right? So again, it's both reinforcement, the behavior's going up, or maintaining, but the behavior's going up, right? So in this case, we're going to remove something. So why do you take aspirin? Why does aspirin work, or Tylenol, or any of those other things? Um, so they work because they remove a stimulus. When that stimulus goes away, it increases the probability of you taking aspirin in the future. I know it's a really simple example, but it works, right? Um, I put my seatbelt on to avoid certain things. So avoidance or escape is about your uh, negative reinforcement. So we go into positive punishment. Punishment is about the decrease of a response. Contingent application or removable, a removal of a stimulus that results in a decrease in responding, right? So positive punishment, we're gonna add something to decrease a response. Negative punishment, we're gonna take something away. So spanking, all right, a really bad example, but whatever, so we're gonna spank you, um, and that's positive punishment, we're gonna take something away, we're gonna ground you, all right? The loss of social reinforcers, right? So the loss of a stimulus right, can reduce the behavior. So 
positive and negative reinforcement, stimulus was added and removed to increase the behavior. Positive and negative punishment, stimulus was added and removed to decrease the behavior. That's all there is to it. There ain't no more. It's all you need to know. Have a good day. See you later.